All right, this is just going to be a little video show how I sharpen uh, lawnmower blades. So this uh, blade here is off of our lawn boy. And uh, one of our boys was uh, sharpening with it, or sorry, mowing with it the other day. And uh, it's not in too bad a shape, but it's definitely not sharp. Uh, you know, there's no way you cut yourself on that. But there's no big nicks or anything. You haven't hit any too much metal or rocks and things like that, so that's good. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is kind of clean it up. I don't need to show you every bit of this, but I'll get this brass brush here, and I'll use that just to knock some of that. Knock some of that old uh, grass off there. I should get some other sort of scraper. find whatever you got that's doing a pretty good job I'm really not set up for sharpening here right now got to get all my tools out and at them because so I got all this stuff here somewhere but it's hard when you're I'm building this shop and uh, so everything gets moved out and back in and over to that side and everything over to this side and it's difficult to keep yourself organized to know where your stuff is when you got to do something like this. Anyway, that's getting pretty good there now. Now is a good time to take out with the brush. And I don't got to get all this off, but this is mainly just clean her out so that when I'm all done the sharpening and I check the balance of the blade, there's not a whole bunch of uh, grass caked on here that are affecting the balance. But I'll generally do this to every blade anyway. You know, clean her up good and oil it. Get rid of all the rust. Doesn't take very long and you need to do it to balance it and looks good. So Pretty much good enough, but a little bit more hair. All right, good enough. So I know there's a lot of different. Uh, now I'm going to get locked ways in the, you can sharpen here and we'll this edge. You can use a file or grinding disc or whatever. I like these flap discs. Um, and they last a long time. I mean, 
I can grind probably, I don't know, 15, 20 of these blades with just one of these flap discs. But I don't know where the one that I was using is right now, so I put a new one on. So this is a 60 grit uh, flap disc. And I've got her tightened on there good. And generally, I don't get too concerned. You can kind of, I'm just trying to match that angle right there. So that's all I'll really look at. So that's got, uh, that's got an arrow going that way. So that's going to spin that way. So it's going against the edge like that, which is fine. There's no burrs. If there's any deep nicks and things like that, I'll run the grinder like this on it until it's perfectly flat, and then I'll sharpen the edge. But with this one here, it's not too, well, I'll probably, I'll brush it up a little bit there. Enough for one side, and all I'm doing is so I run it right straight down just to flatten it out, and then I sharpen it. And I keep feeling for a burr as soon as I've sharpened it enough that this the heck, oh well, that uh, this surface here has met the back side flat surface here, that edge starts to curl around a little bit, and that's the burr that I'm feeling for. I know that both of those surfaces have met, so that'll be good enough. I've got a burr along that entire surface. I'll take it now and just with a hand file, I'll knock that burr off, and then she'll be sharp. So, so again, again, same thing the other side here before same that. Same as I was saying before there. I've got both of these faces here sharpened up now, and I can feel a burr. Like a good strong burr on the back side of that one all the way along. There's a good strong burr on the back side of that one all the way along. And this is the exact same thing I'll do for any blade, kitchen knives or whatever. Once you feel or see that burr or don't see, anything going along that front edge then you've got a pretty sharp blade which that one is now so we just got rid of that burr and all you're left with is those two edges meeting and she's pretty sharp very sharp I guess you'd say so here's this one
see you taking that burr off. Once we got the whole thing off, I mean, that doesn't need to be that sharp. It's ridiculously sharp. Just going to work some good for a little bit. I can actually feel there, flip that barrel over the other side. So. Anyway, once you're close to done, you can just run it down a piece of wood because that burr is pretty small fine and you're not going to have a sharp edge until you get rid of that burr altogether but I can't feel on that side and there's no burr on this side so we're done nothing there a little bit of something there just very very lightly We're either filing it off or we're flipping it over to the other side. Just a little tiny bit. It was very, very lightly. Get rid of that burr. Don't feel anything there. Don't feel anything there. She's good enough. And that's it. The edge. So now we'll just move right on to uh, balance. So I didn't uh, really count to make sure I was taking the same number of passes on each side. So you want to make sure that uh, roughly the same amount of metal was removed from each side. And that's freaking close enough. You can see it's a little bit heavier over on this side here. But she's some freaking close. So if I took a little bit more material off this side here, it'd be closer to balanced. But I'm going to call that good enough. I know it's close enough, it's not going to wobble on the mower or anything. So I'll finish cleaning it up. Alright, so I just got this old oily rag here. I'll bring it back. And that'd probably be good enough. I couldn't find any other oil right off the bat. Some mineral oil or something. But anyway, I'm just going to put it down here. Spray it with some of this penetrating oil. Wipe that off and that'll do her. She looks just like brand new. And she done.